All right, so Seconds Out has been open eight years now and I cannot believe it's taken until now to review these boxing gloves. How's it going guys? I'm Ross from Seconds Out Fight Store. We're an independent boxing shop based in the UK. In today's review, we're looking at the Cleto Rays traditional sparring gloves. So the first thing I want to start with is the packaging. A bit of a weird place to start, but when you get a pair of Cleto Rays boxing gloves for the first time, you'll know if you've had a pair of these in the past or you're about to open your first pair, then there is something special about having a pair of Cleto Rays boxing gloves and opening them for the first time. They come vacuum sealed in this beautiful packaging and when you open them up for the first time you get this beautiful Mexican leather smell is like nothing else. So let's start by looking at the outside of the gloves. You can see straight away they've got the Cleto Rays logo there, the iconic Rays logo and then on the wrist strap they've got a, like an embroidered patch. The stitching is the first thing that stands out to me in these gloves. The stitching is master crafted. It is beautiful, flawless, very smooth and clean. It's double stitched around all the important parts, but you can tell these gloves have been handmade by somebody that knows exactly what they're doing. On these white gloves, you can see that it's got this beautiful two-tone design on the inside of the thumb, matching the laces and the piping and the stitching. It really makes it stand out nice. One thing I love about these gloves is this wrist section. You can see it's got this like lace traction section just here to guide the laces through. But what you might not be able to see in the video is this is extremely padded. So not only when you're wrapping the laces nice and tight is that going to stop you from sort of hurting your wrists but it's also going to offer some extra protection when you're sparring. The shape of the glove is a traditional as you'd expect Mexican design quite a square fit a long wrist cuff this is the way Cleto Rays have been making their sparring gloves for years. One thing that Cleto Rays have updated over the years is the actual shape of the glove it did used to be quite a square wide fit and although it does still have that to a certain extent it's a lot more minimal and compact than it used to be. Now we'll take a look at that in a minute when we try these gloves gloves on but what I want to show you before we do that is the inside of these gloves they've got a beautiful water resistant inside lining so that's going to stop the sweat from going into the glove like into the actual padding and the leather and deteriorating that's going to help keep the gloves fresher for longer. So now let's take a wee look at the hand compartment. How do these gloves actually feel when you put them on? The lace system is wrapped in nice and tight as soon as you get these gloves for the first time and when you put your hands in the gloves it fits absolutely beautiful. You can tell straight away similar to when you're opening these gloves you can tell as soon as you put them on for the first time that they are absolute quality. This wrist section here really wraps around your wrist beautiful and this is before I've got it laced up properly so I've got a nice secure fit already. Once I get these laces wrapped around and secured properly it gives you such a strong secure fit. Now the thumb is one thing that people have had a bit of an issue with about Cleto Rays in the past. Personally my ones fit me absolutely perfect but a lot of people have said that they don't like the thumb placement. If you've used Cleto Rays gloves recently or in the past let me know what you think of the thumb. Has it changed over the years? I've got average sized hands so I've not got particularly big or small hands and my thumb doesn't feel squashed in. It doesn't feel like there's too much room but if you do have bigger hands then it's definitely still going to work for you as well. When we look at the hand compartment like I said earlier this is a much more snug hand compartment than the gloves used to be but it does still have quite a square fit so there's maybe I don't know about a thumbs width something like that from the edge of the glove to where my hand starts plenty of room to get hand wraps on and when we look at the fingertip compartment I've maybe got about I don't know maybe about half an inch to go towards my fingers at the end of the glove so again if you've got bigger hands you're still going to get into these gloves no problem at all even with hand wraps. One thing in my opinion that they have updated is the knuckle compartment. Cleto Ray's gloves have always been known as a puncher's glove. Religiously had no padding in them whatsoever <laughs> like you felt your knuckles right through them as soon as you pushed down on the leather but with these ones here I can still feel my knuckles but there's definitely more padding in them than they used to be. Whether that's something that Cleto Ray's have consciously upgraded over the years or when whether it's just me being paranoid or something since the last time I tried them on, I'm not too sure. But I can definitely feel like there's a good amount of padding in there compared to what there used to be a few years back. Now the glove weight is something that I want to go into in a bit of detail because Cleto Ray's gloves in the past always religiously weighed more than they said they weighed on the label. So if a glove said it weighed like 14 ounces, the chances are it would weigh 15, 16 ounces. And I've went back and forward on my opinions on this. Part of me thinks it's good because you're working with a heavier glove, you're getting a tougher workout. When you go to wear a pair of fight gloves, your hands are going to be a lot faster because you've been supporting heavier gloves. On the other hand, I think, well, look, if you're saying a glove is 14 ounces, it should weigh 14 ounces. And with Cleto Ray's gloves in the past, that wasn't the case. So we actually had done a TikTok and an Instagram reel not long ago because Cleto Ray's had actually changed that. We started getting some batches of their gloves in and they weighed exactly what they should weigh. So this was really exciting. But then we've got these white sparring gloves here and I've put them on the scales and they weigh 451 grams. So just under 16 ounces. 
now I said in this video this Instagram reel or you might even see it on YouTube shorts as well I said that you, I can't guarantee that every single pair of Cleto Ray's gloves is going to weigh exactly what it should and um, this isn't an official communication it's been out by Cleto Ray's it was just something that I noticed and lo and behold we have started getting some batches back in that weigh more than they should weigh interestingly if we take these 14 ounce black wrap around sparring gloves so the same gloves but in velcro and put these on the scales now these are still wrapped up in their in their packaging but they weigh just under 14 ounces now i don't know if when we've got them out of the packaging that they're going to weigh the exact amount the correct amount of 14 ounce i didn't want to open up too many pairs of gloves here because we've got to sell them of course but when you put these ones on the scale they do weigh the same or less so one thing either way would be great if is if Cleto Rays could just come out and tell us exactly what their policy is for making gloves like if you buy a 14 ounce glove it's going to weigh 16 ounce because we only class the weight of the glove from the wrist strap up something like that from above the wrist strap or we used to have gloves at 16 ounce when they should only be 14 ounce but we're now changing that but they are completely silent we don't hear a thing about this as retailers so the chances are you won't hear anything about it as customers which is really disappointing because you want to know exactly if i buy a pair of cleto raised gloves i know they're going to weigh more than they should weigh or I know they're going to weigh bang on. I'm going on a wee bit of a rant here but it's quite frustrating that Cleto Rays haven't come out and just communicated with their customers and their retailers and told them exactly what the policy is on the weight of the gloves. So I think I've went into plenty of detail on that and said my piece. These sparring gloves you can get from 12 ounce upwards they come in a variety of different sizes to suit all needs. Uh, you can get them in a variety of different colours as well. Of course we've got black, white, blue, red. Um, I think they come in yellow as well, gold, silver. There's loads of colours. We're going to try and put them on the screen there so you can see the colours that are available. And overall these gloves are absolute perfection in my mind. I'm a massive Cleto Rays fan. I've had mine for about probably four or five years now and I absolutely love them. But certainly when we look at the quality of these gloves, it is absolutely incredible. These will last for ages. They are extremely hard wearing, well built, comfortable, and there is definitely something special, like I said, about having your first pair of Cleto Rays gloves. So onto the price on these gloves, the price is going up all the time just now with the climate, the way it is unfortunately. So these were generally about 200, 215 pounds, depending on what size you went for. The price has crept up now, rather than give you the exact price because that'll vary first of all where you are in the world and also at the time of watching this video I would say just to check out our website seconds-out.co.uk we sell these gloves on our website we're big fans of them so check them out if you're fancy treating yourself to a new pair of gloves so I hope this video has been of some use please don't forget to tap the subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video and you can check us out on social media at seconds out underscore we're on Facebook Twitter Instagram and TikTok thank you again for watching we really appreciate the support and we'll see you on the next one cheers